That one doesn't use a magnet. Hello, YouTube. We are, we're obviously not uh, at my house or his house or his house. No. We're at EG. Although it would be pretty cool if we had a garage or a house where we could put that up. Yes, yeah. true. That's true. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, all right. The big question is why, why are we here? And there is a moderate, moderate chance this might drive under its own power tonight. So Just maybe. we're going to stay live. We're, gonna, we're, we're as thinking long as yeah. we have electricity or we're taking we bets. I mean, you could start a pool. I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, the question is, I don't know, it might take to like midnight or 2 a.m. or something. But I mean, the question is, do we stay here until it drives? If that's possible? Yeah, maybe. We're at EAG. EAG USA. And they're working on my 599 to get it converted. So they are uh, finishing up some of the parts. Probably can't. The, the, yeah. the, the clutch pedal is in the um, CNC machine right now, and it's when it's last operation. I talked to the CNC operator just before Hugh has started. no faith. Thanks, Hugh. Yeah, by the way, sorry we're not looking up. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the cam camera setup weird. is... Sorry. <laughs> we, hey, we didn't say this was NGS pre-recorded. This is NGS live. Yeah, we're doing live. <laughs> so everything's you screwed up. just have to deal with what we got. <laughs> yeah, and then later on, once they start working on the car some more, we have my cell phone, and we'll use it as another camera. And we actually can go under the car and show you what they're working on, but uh, we're not, we're not, you know, we want to wait till we actually start doing that. So as it sits, the transmission is back in the car. I think the shift box is in the car. Um, the clutch pedal is being machined. Yeah, no, who's your box? Yeah, it's in. Oh, the one upstairs. The inter interior shift box, sorry, yeah, yes. Yeah. The exterior shift box is still on the prototype one, not on the final, yeah. but the purposely are leaving in the prototype one because we're going to use it to adjust it, then attach the final one. But that's like four or five volts or something. That's pretty easy. So go tell all your friends that we're doing this live in front of the car. That way we get as many viewers as we can. Because yeah. last time we did this, yeah, we, we did we a live the 355. Man, there were like two or 300 people in there. Really okay, here's a great question, Cheryl. Okay, guys, if all goes well, are you thinking of taking it to Mecham at Monterey? If it goes, this is the reason we're pushing on it so hard is we want to bring it with us to Monterey. Nice. That's the plan. Yeah, that's what we're trying. That's why they are working their asses off because, well, so I don't, I mean, obviously we drive it around. We were not going to actually display it at Mecham or sell it at Mecham. No, it's, uh, it would not be done in time. Or I would just say it's not it won't finalized. Be, yeah. Like there's going to still be a few prototype parts that we're going to swap out after we get back from Monterey, assuming we get it done for Monterey. Yep. So like the shift cables are not the final shift cables. They're literally poaching shift cables off of a 430. <laughs> 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 so they're too long, but they'll, they, they have some on order. They're just not here yet or whatever. So if it works. It works. Yeah. If it works, it works. The brake booster cap doesn't uh, recall doesn't apply to the five. Correct. It's not, it doesn't affect the five right now. Every other car in here though. I'd say all the other cars in here. We'll have to show you all the crazy cars here. here. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna grab the. Uh, he's gonna grab them. I'm gonna try and do this slowly so I don't make y'all sick. Okay. Is it literally just a matter of switching a cap? Yeah. And programming. There are oh, tens okay. of people watching you on YouTube right now. There are tens of people. There's almost sixty. Yeah, almost. So this is oh, all of them. Yeah. I don't think they can hear us till it points at us. No, they can. Mm. We're back. We're back. Hello. Are those are those wrapped cars ones that have been there longer and they're just kind of they're waiting. So like nine of the cars that are under cover are five nine nines waiting for my five nine nine to be done, <laughs> so that they can then do those five nine nines. Looks like they're all in bubble wrap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're under like a saran wrap, whatever. This green. Yeah. Painters, so, something. It's so like all the ones on the one side are in progress and then same with some of the ones in the middle are in progress and then all the ones on the other side are awaiting parts a la 599 <laughs> so you must have a lot of patience to 
just leave your car and not drive it. But I guess you've had to, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, yeah two years. Two years. Three months, man. Three months. So, yeah, that was the original. <laughs> It was originally, oh, man, we'll have it done in two or three months. I'm like, yeah, we'll have it done in time for the tour. Yep. The first tour. The first tour. And then it really I, is, the patience I, really I, is a virtue. Yeah. With, with I mean, the only plus side is the value of these cars have skyrocketed. Yeah. But so there's, I mean, they're not even close to what I paid for it. Yeah. yeah. Like, no. You could never get what I paid for that today. I was just going to say, I remember last year when we were pushing to get it done for the tour. Yeah. It was when they were still down in San Antonio. So we were having to, uh, Dan and I were driving an hour and 20 minutes hour one half, way. Yeah. Each day, twice, a, yeah, really? there and back every day. Yeah. For quite a few times. Like I put like 5,000, I put like 5,000 miles yeah, on the like truck. Yeah, two and a half Jeez. weeks. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So. You should put up a YouTube short real quick. That Thank you, Cheryl. Quickly that you are doing this live. Oh, well, now I'm in the middle of this. That's like, yeah, yeah I need to. I many. can post to, I think I can make a oh. Test, test. Oh, yeah. Post. You should take a picture of us standing here Ooh, doing yeah. this and then post that. And I like what you're thinking. Yeah. 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 See, I suck at marketing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, oh, shit. Should have, like, done no, something. No, the, the candid pictures are better. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Uh, well. <laughs> They'll go away in a minute. Sorry about that. It's air compressor. Uh, 575 is right over there. It is still being worked on. Uh, we just, we've been so busy. We haven't had time. And uh, they don't have a, uh, the parts ready yet. They have the parts here. They're just not assembled. So we're waiting on that. And Josh is on vacation. So there you go. Josh is sailing again, huh? <laughs> yeah, actually, he is legitimately. He didn't learn his lesson, I guess. No, he's on a much bigger boat, to be fair. Yeah, sorry about all the noise. I mean, it is a working shop, you know. We're 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 intervening in their space. They'll go away in a minute. It does kind of sound like a boat horn there, Brent. I wonder if I should turn it off. I mean, it doesn't need air right now. It's not horrible. Like, it kind of muted it out a bit, but it's not all great. Right. All right. Whatever, Adam. Well, okay. That's good. They'll go away in a minute. Here, but are there any scuds there getting converted? Yeah, there's one uh, right there. Hold on. Another 599. Wow. Right there's another 599 is scud. It's kissing the 599. Yeah, they're they're tight squeeze. Oh. Whoop, whoop. Nope. There it is. Nope. Did I get it? There. Yeah. I got it. Okay, there. No one noticed the crazy car that's here? No one noticed it. Okay. I didn't see any comments. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one of these isn't way. like the others. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's the Mercy, but is that one? Uh, sure, we'll go with that one. We'll yeah. go with that. We'll yeah. go with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll just keep moving on. <laughs> is there a puro, puro sangue in there? <laughs> no. Well, there's the Huracan that was over here, yeah. which you just saw. But there's yeah. something else that's kind of a little bit cooler Ooh. than that. But yeah, I'm gonna check that out. After. Oh, someone did notice it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's a there's an SV here, like a real one. Yeah, not a bullshit one. <laughs> yeah. So not a body kit and a sticker. No, not a body kit and a sticker. It's the legit shit. Strange story behind it. I don't think I'm allowed to talk about it, so I'm not going to. Okay. It's not my place. Tell me we'll talk. Yeah, it's yeah, it's one of those where you're like. I can see that. <laughs> I like those kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So we're working on this, um, and like we said, the the goal is get this done so that we can bring it to Monterey Car Week, and then um, in Car Week, the big thing that we wanted to do was actually show it at Exotics on Broadway. So I have a slot reserved at oh, Exotics nice. on Broadway, and we wanted to kind of show this thing off for that. Um, and then as I got backup, this is part of why we bought the 48 and left it out in California is our backup plan is that now we have a 48 out there at Fred's house. So we're going to take the trailer out there and then trailer them both back home when we're done. 
So, you can that trailer workout you bought there, Adam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. I mean, uh, by the time this next week is over, I'll have driven from coast to coast damn. in less than a month. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Well, and, and you kind of went, you went from the coast back to the Midwest, back to the coast. The coast yeah. yeah. Actually, you went from Texas to the coast to to Midwest to the coast to Texas. It was uh, like 200 miles shy of uh, 5,000 miles. 5,000. Wow. And you only got pulled over once, right? No, on the trip, I didn't get pulled over at all. Okay. Yeah, when you're, when you're hauling, you don't really speak. I didn't go over like 72 was the fastest I ever went. Yeah, it's kind of different. Like, it's actually really easy hauling because you just kind of like set the cruise basically a couple miles an hour over the speed limit and you're like, eh, whatever. That, that was my way to see if you would segue into uh, what happened with your. Uh, oh, we have a, we have we got a video, video coming, coming out. Oh, I think it. Of course. Of course we do. I figured yeah. you got a teeter on, you know, can't give too much away. Adam did get pulled over. It'll be a big pick bait title, I assume. Oh, it's not really. Wait, would we do that? Uh, Yes. We're not really good. I'm not good at clickbait. Would That's we do that? You tried it. We would. No, I tried it. I was terrible at it. I hired that kid. Who was great at it. Yeah, that's true. But then I, I was actually, it bothered me that people were like constantly pissed off. It just it was annoying. Even though my channel probably grew more, I probably, I mean, I probably should hire someone to do it again because it really did work. Um, whatever. Yeah. Yes. Damn. Some YouTube, five, fake YouTube drama. <laughs> Lotus. Damn. Five K miles. It's time to rebuild the engine on my Lotus. <laughs> Did you get it working last? I think the last time you were on, it wasn't working. You blew it up or something. Adam, where'd you drive the Scud more than five miles an hour yet? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we finally like got to take the Scud out. Oh, my God. The Scud video comes out Sunday? Mm -hmm. I think Sunday. So Saturday. Oh, Saturday. You guys are going to love Saturday's video. <laughs> Adam reviews the 360. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> we were all like, we have to, we have to. Adam has to do it. So he's I'm genuinely it's excited happening. About it. Yes. Yeah. It's, Sorry, I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm trying to post on YouTube. It's oh yeah, kind of a pain in the ass. That's not like a motorcycle out there. That's gotta be a motorcycle. Anyway, uh, the 48 is at Fred's house in California. So it's in a garage. It's not ours. Yeah, you, it's you sure it's something driving it, right? Yeah. Dude, he doesn't drive his own. I know. That that is the safest place to store a car on earth. You know no one's gonna fuck with it. It's just gonna sit there. He, it's gonna be undercover. I didn't realize he still had under three hundred miles on the F8. I didn't think he had under three hundred. I was like, holy crap, I've literally put I think I put hundred and twenty miles on that car. Oh my god. Because we drove it we drove it all the way to Newport and back. And I drove it to Newport. So wait, I was confused. Your that drive was like Ten hours, right? But you only put it was like a hundred miles or something. No, it was four hundred. Yeah. On the oh, forty, okay. I drove yeah. over four hundred miles. Yeah, we're talking okay. about I, okay. No, Fred's F eight only had under three hundred miles on it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got to move around some trucks. There we go. <laughs> Hand signs. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I'm not blocking. Yeah. Probably have to move my truck at some point too. I'm guessing. Okay. Whatever. Um. What's the deal with the magic loop? Magic loop. <laughs> I don't know. Fred just had this thing sitting there, magic loop. I'm like, Fred, <laughs> what do you use this for? And he's like, it's loop for the Ferrari. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I need to film that. And he's like, magic loop. <laughs> I'm like, oh, all right, that works. Oh, That's all. It's marital aid. <laughs> marital aid. <laughs> uh, the loop thing oh, is funny. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> yeah i mean that's the thing we eons ago we kind of determined our mission for this channel isn't to grow the channel to be millions of subscribers because we want to you know have 14 year olds think we're funny i wanted adults although with, we do have the humor of 14 year olds well yeah yeah but that's that's a given i mean it's just you know all of us car people are that way but we we decided we wanted viewers who legitimately are supercar fans, own supercars, want to work on supercars, all that stuff. That was the goal. So our demographic is much higher aged. That thing is loud. Yeah. Sounds like that's a muscle thing, car. That's the thing that sounded like a... Okay. Oh, there's Josh. Josh is... Uh, uh, it's working. There's Josh. 
Hey. You, your connection's pretty crappy. Yeah. Hey, Pietro. <laughs> are you are you on the uh, the Nighthawk? <laughs> oh. no. Ah, he went away. Thank you. I'm gonna kill it. Yeah, he's. Not uh, gonna be here. I don't know if it's gonna work, Josh. <laughs> it's okay if it doesn't. We understand. You're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Yes. Sound like a jet above. Yeah. I can hear the uh, the Herco just spun up. Yeah. So it's probably gonna start cutting some stuff in a second. We should take your phone over there. Oh, dude. Yeah. Okay. I'll fire up my Let me phone. Go see if it's... Hey, Luke, are you cut? All right. I'm gonna bring my phone over there. No uh, pressure. He'll let us know when it's cut. So okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you guys a, a close-up yeah. shot of the CNC machine. Your studio. That'd be pretty sweet. That thing's dope. Yeah, I'm gonna get my phone going. Sorry. Josh said I tried. I bought the $69 internet. <laughs> <It's> $69. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he on like a? An actual cruise? Yeah. Okay. We weren't kidding. Yeah, he was on an actual cruise. All right. So I'll, uh, I'll go over there as soon as they start cutting. I'll just let it sit for a minute. Ah, damn it. Stupid phone. I'm trying to get it to be sideways. There we go. Yeah. So it actually has like a good, uh, you know. Uh, come here, spider in one? No. Huh? What? That's the 599. That's the 599. <laughs> Alpha. Alpha Spider. <laughs> what about that looks anything like any of that? What? <laughs> Can we get a close up shot of the stash? <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, once I get the camera, I'll, I'll walk around. Yes. I can't, I can't wait for you to start that thing. There's going to be squirrels that fly out of the exhaust. <laughs> 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 oh, that's actually kind of true. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, and we <laughs> bird's nest chipmunks. Oh man, we were just. I was like, I want, I'm actually a little bit nervous that it won't start because the fuel's two years old. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's cutting. I'll, uh, I'll start it when you're over there. That way they don't get seasick. Okay. So I'll go over there and I'll keep them entertained. And let's see how you use restream. Oh, all you do is click this right here. Well, you gotta make him. Oh yeah, yeah. So. You guys are seeing what it's like behind the scenes here yep. today. This is uh, what happens when it's really live. Cheryl misses Pietro. Yeah. Nobody else. Here we go. Oh, there's the CNC machine. That, I'm not going to lie. That sounds like a horror movie. Oh, I think some terrible noise. <laughs> There's the stuff there. You know what stuff? <laughs> like trying to get in the way. Yeah. Oh, that one does sound terrible. Yeah. Oh, we'll go back over. You put a witch in the oven. I can mute him. Sorry, guys. I muted him. Look at all that lube. Show the car. That's the status of it. Unmuted. You're good. There's the trans and the uh, bell housing. So, like, right up here is the shift box. That's not, uh, you can't see it. And then you see we got the shift cables actually running out that hole right there. And then, see, here's the prototype outer shift box which you can see has a hole in it and that's so they can align these cables correctly and then they'll replace this with the final box once they uh, do all that and then uh i guess i could point out the ladder real quick it's over here yeah. where's the ocean at oh. there ocean. you go <laughs> nice yeah and obviously uh no, no clutch pedal because that's being cut. Yeah, yeah. did say start it, not drive it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not driving comfortably at least. 
Oh, Gabe's the center of attention hey. now. There we go. Get me out of there. <laughs> See. Sounds like a two-year-old learning to play the harmonica. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Well, it's, it's <laughs> funny because it has different speeds, and the different speeds have different sounds. That transition to Dan was the smoothest game you've ever done in the live. <laughs> we are professionals. <laughs> Fuck you, Greg. <laughs> we are professionals. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. Uh, we have such nice friends. <laughs> I know. Yes, we do. They like your premium shirt and Miller Lite. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. One yeah. of the best, man. Oh, yeah, it's, it's hidden. It's hidden. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Other side. Other way. There it is. <laughs> Got magic blue. There's a t shirt. Dude, we have that. Yeah. Well, there's a t shirt. It's similar to that. It's not that, but. Yeah, the Magic Lube shirt is available on the website if you, for some stupid reason, want to give us your money. <laughs> Why you would want to do that, I have no idea. Yeah, as, we uh, appreciate it either way. There it is, as Josh Sargent said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, hey. He actually was giving us money for that? No. Yeah. Well, there you go, John. There you go. Sure. Oh. The underside of this that was clean. No, it was not dry ice blast. It just it was just that clean. Just hasn't um, driven in two years. <laughs> yeah, it's just a step for two years. Uh, no, I think I mean it was well taken care of when I bought it. It was it was just a very clean car. Um, I think it's only got twenty two or twenty three thousand miles on. I can't remember now. I, it's been two years. Um, so I don't know. All I know is that I think. So if you add in the cost of the car originally and all the modifications to that car, I think it's probably had somewhere between five hundred fifty and six hundred thousand dollars sunk into it. <laughs> so it's a pretty expensive. Oh, you're trying to scroll down? Yeah. You gotta like grab it just right. There it is. Let's just see if there's a mute on that video. Oh, it is isn't. Oh, like wow. yeah. As long as it's not echoing for you guys. I'm yeah, you guys can't it. hear an echo or anything, can you? Gabe. Fine on my end. Okay, okay. cool. Um, yeah. <clears throat> what did I pay for it? Not going to talk about that. <laughs> I bought it two years ago. It was... The videos are on the channel. Things were... No, I never said. I well, never said the price. Not the price, but the videos on buying it. Yeah. So, like, I... I'll put it this way. I bought it, I believe, within a month of the bottom of the market for those cars. Like, it was unintentionally perfect timing. Like, that was... That's probably going to be like the best car ever for making money that I've ever bought, which was just accidental. So there you go. Uh, what are you guys going to do while you are got your cars on display at Exox on Broadway? Um, any chance, any chances to your fans? Are you playing Where's Waldo with the crew? I think our plan is kind of to hang out near the car and meet people and talk about it. I mean, honestly, I'm using it as a marketing Employee. I'm gonna. There's people who want to buy it, and there's people who want to buy conversions. So I'm gonna sit around and talk to people about that. And obviously, if there's fans walking by and they want to talk to us, we will gladly talk to you because all three of us will be there. Well, I'm trying. Not Do him, it. but him and Josh and I. Will so be there. I had an angle. There's a work. There's a work summit in LA on the 18th. But if oh. I wanted to go to it, yes, I have to change some stuff, and that wasn't mm. good. But I can still make it. Uh, okay. We'll find out. I know it's stuff you're talking about, and I don't blame you. Yeah. Is the plan to auction it or just list it? Um, I don't know. I, here's what my thinking is. Once we have it done, I think I kind of want to take it on the tour of Colorado. Cool. Maybe. Um, and so my thinking is that's basically a month, and if someone wants to come with a good offer, I'll consider it. Otherwise, I'll put it up for auction. Uh, to give you a scope of what I mean by a good offer, EAG actually did finish another 599, but it has the OE style shift rods, does not have the cable, so it still has got the chatter. That car is listed for sale right now for half a million dollars. Whoa. <laughs> um, I think that's too high. <laughs> I'm not expecting that. But yeah, 
listed what it will sell for. Right. I don't think they're going to sell it for half a million. I think that's crazy. That's way too close to an OE car. An OE car, an OE 599 manual is about three quarters of a million dollars. Um, how much these are going to go for? I don't know. I think I would say it's probably going to be at least a hundred to two hundred thousand premium over an F1 car. That's what I believe is uh, accurate. So those can't go due to those watch lists. Yeah, that, that makes it hard to get on a plane, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, those <laughs> damn watch lists. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll get. Um, I mean, I don't want to say numbers because I don't know what people. It's, it's impossible to say. This this is a one of one until the next one's made. And even then, none of them are going to have the Vorsteiner kit because Vorsteiner only made, I think, four or five of those kits. So that's like a $50,000 body kit plus all the other mods done to this car. So I mean, it's a very unique car. X-Pipe, right? X-Pipe, yeah, all that stuff. It's, I, I just, it's hard to put a value on it. I don't want to, like, I don't want to throw out a number because I don't want to scare people away. And I don't want to throw out a number if it's too low because then... I don't know. I just don't know yet. Um, that's why. That's why I kind of think it should go to auction because I feel like that's how you can determine its value. But again, if someone gave me a good enough offer, where I was like, okay, that seems reasonable. You know, buy Meg a big diamond <laughs> ring with the five nine nine profit, then you'll be able to keep the forty eight. <laughs> okay. I like where your head's at, but that's that wouldn't work. You don't know Meg. That okay. will not, not a, work. Not a diamond ring gal. No, no. She'd be like, why are you spending money on that shit? <laughs> <laughs> now you have to sell your 48. Yeah, right. It does not have six in one headers. Those, uh, fuck you, I'm never installing six in one headers on a V12 Ferrari. Uh, Why? Those are so difficult. And those are the the three, the six, three, uh, one. Or six, three, two. Three, two, one? Yeah. It's. What? Yeah. It's crazy exhaust on that thing. They are. And not only that, the six and ones are so expensive, super expensive, like like ten thousand dollars expensive. Yeah, those are Klein Inc. It's Klein Inc. Canal exhaust on it. So yeah, did I hear a niner? <laughs> Probably. Uh, that's a good question, Cheryl. Are you thinking of converting your five nine nine? Should exotics on Broadway is Saturday. Uh, I think from like I want to say one till. Four or something like that. I think I have to have the car there before like eleven or twelve. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it's a three, three. Well, it's three. Yeah, it's six separate tubes into two tubes into two into yeah. one on each side. Yeah, yeah. So six two or so six two one. Yeah. <laughs> what a load of crap. What? Meg married Dan. That's her diamond. <laughs> If she means, you know, a piece of crap compressed under high pressure. That's actually accurate. <laughs> and definitely a turd under pressure. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Gotcha. <laughs> now that I know that, <laughs> I'm sure Meg will, uh, if she heard that, Hopefully point that out. Hopefully she did. Right? I hope. If, not, if she did, I'll make sure to let her know. Yeah, we'll have to tell her 30 minutes in. There's 29 minutes in. I'm a, I'm a cubic sarconia. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even the, uh, the lab created. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. like plastic. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all suck. <laughs> it's all in good fun, buddy. It is. It is. Yeah. So hopefully. What's up? You got McDonald's? Oh, you're going to make a McDonald's run? Well, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, why not? We haven't eaten. At least I haven't. Well, we have dinner. <laughs> Burgers, fries, any preference? Or no? uh, just do like a Big Mac and Coke. It's fries, whatever. I don't give a shit. That, just get no onions on one. I hate onions. I'm just going to shit on a burger. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, that works. That all works. There you go. Especially if we're here till midnight. Yeah, if we're going to be here a while. I'm actually to... not hungry at all. I'm not, right but now, I know if but... we're going to be here a while. Yeah. yeah. Plus, I'm going to like not be totally hammered because i got to drive home And later. look at me. Once I uh, smell them, I'll probably be like, ooh, that smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be uh, honest about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. She all said, "No plans for conversion. Maybe if I was selling it, I haven't waited this uh, long for my dream V12 to sell it, Brandon." Makes, makes but I would argue, 
honestly, if you're going to convert it, you want to enjoy it for a while. Don't convert. Don't be one of those people that converts your car just to sell it and make money. That's stupid. Like, these are meant to be enjoyed, and you're converting it to have a better experience, not to make a bunch of money. I hate that. Like, I just that drives me nuts when people are using this as like a money making opportunity instead of what it is. It's eventually going to happen where somebody is going to be. It's going to hit the timing all wrong, and they're going to end up losing money. Oh, yeah. And they're going to be pissed. There's no guarantee that and you'll make money on these. look on our website. There isn't a single place on the website that says you can make more money by doing this. Yeah. yeah. So It's not an investment strategy. Yeah. It's a gamble. In fact, it's a pretty terrible investment strategy if you want to consider it an investment strategy. Mm-hmm. And I took money out of a 401k to do this. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. We know where we, know where we stand. Yeah. We're dumb as hell. So. Yeah. yeah, I don't worry. I sunk a ton of my money into this. Uh, we're, we're in this together. We're dumb as shit. <laughs> Man. That thing Fidelity of- told me I should convert the Scud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you got your uh, stock advisor calling up. Hey, so I heard you... Uh, you wanted to get into some uh, alternative investment strategies. Well, hear me yeah, out. I got, some, yeah. I got high, something high for risk, you. But uh, how much is it converted? Four thirty. Are you guys still doing thirty-five? Uh, it's not going up to forty-five. It's going up. So, is it still thirty-five? Uh, like get it while it's hot. It's going up. Forty-five. September first is going up to forty-five. So, you, if you want Ooh. one, don't wait. Otherwise, you're done. And that's from the manager. Yep. So there you go, and and that's I honestly. Would I be able to move your truck in my car? Man, they moved your truck to block another spot. Jeez, this is not financial advice. <laughs> NFT Adam's mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my comb to brush it tonight. Oh uh, man. Yeah. By the way, uh, Albrights, both of you, we'd love to have uh, lunch or dinner or something. Meet up with y'all since you're gonna be there. We'll be there. So, oh, so everyone, we're going to be in Monterey Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's it. We're not. We're not going to be there longer than that. Unfortunately, we just. I'm flying home Saturday so, or Sunday, 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 Sunday. Sunday. So, with, uh, huh? No, he's driving out, flying home, and then Josh is flying out, driving home, nice. and I'm driving and driving because I'm dumb. <laughs> hey, if you want it, you're taking your truck. If we were taking my truck. I would be the one that was driving there and back. Oh, no, it's worth having the air-conditioned seats. Yes. I'll take it. Yes, yes. I'm not saying no, it's not. I'm if we were to do that, then I would fly out both. I turned off the air compressor. Uh, for the, so you may look the doors. They're open. Door. Right, just check the doors. It's happening. Oh, they're good. <laughs> To hit the that ladder, that would suck. Uh, oh, so yeah, we'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If any of y'all are gonna be there, for sure, send us a DM on Instagram or an email or whatever. I'm thinking Friday's probably gonna be the best day to meet up with us if you're not gonna go to Exotics on Broadway. So obviously, we'll be at Exotics on Broadway, all three of us. That's a great time to meet us, although it's gonna be a shit show there if you've ever been to that. It's crazy. Um, the other thing is we're going to meet them on Thursday, for sure. So that's the only two things we've committed to. Friday we've intentionally left open. Um, reason being is if that is indeed joining us, there's already some YouTubers who would like to drive that. So we're keeping our Friday open basically to whore out my car. As you do. As one does. Yeah, I mean, come on. Honestly, it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, we're going to put a premium sticker on it. Oh, dude. <laughs> Wait, uh, it's there right it there. is. Yeah, there it is. I'm so used to being out here. Yeah. yeah, premium sticker. So, you know, like, if you've yeah, been waiting right. for something, waiting for something, you finally get it, you, like, want to share it with everyone. Yeah. I'm like, dude, dude, you're going to have to drive this. <laughs> I need another beer. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Adam brought me one, so I have two. That's because I didn't want to walk back from where I was already on. Yeah, so where should I stick this premium sticker on Dan's uh, car? Are we doing a live show next Thursday? Uh, we'll certainly try. Um, I don't know if we'll have internet capable of it, so it may not last very long. Uh, but we'll certainly give it the old college try and see if we can. Yeah. If we can make it work here, we can do it somewhere else. Yeah. 
So Tyler, you might go. You said. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, the, the tour of Colorado in the week after takes all my vacations, so I yeah. gotta work around. I can make yeah. it work. So, you definitely yeah. want to prioritize Colorado. Yeah. Here to there. Yeah. No, vacation time. Yeah, vacation time. Yeah. It's the problem when you first start a job. They're like, yeah, no. You can't go. Well, Tyler, I think you're, you're making a good prioritization with the Colorado. Yeah. 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 No, I would, I mean, of the two, I'd rather go to Colorado than Monterey. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. Monterey is going to keep going. This is it. We're not doing this again. I'm, I'm done with the Colorado tour. It's just, I'm like, no. Yeah. Even if Jocko bribes me 4X when he bribed me this year, <laughs> doing it again, no, I'm done. It is just such a headache. I love you, Jocko. But it's such a headache. It's just like, it's like herding cats, trying to get people to commit, and you know, like I, I'm not like one of these guys. I'm not a real like pushy sales guy. Like if you want to buy some of my shit, buy my shit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like bang down yeah. your door, and be like, yo, buy my crap. Come on, come on. Yeah. Like, I just don't want to do that. That's it's, what happens. Kind of. No, I hate being pushy. I yeah. was, I, I did sales at my other job, two jobs ago, and I wasn't, uh, I had no say in how the business was run, and. Man, I'm like, no. <laughs> yes. We found, uh, so fun story time, there was a uh, trailer that caught on fire. Well, the truck caught on fire, and then the trailer caught on fire. Yeah. And people were posting about it in, like, all the trucker Facebook groups, because I worked for a trucking company, or a company that catered to trucking companies. And the vice president of the company wanted me to call the number that was on the side of the trailer to offer them a new trailer for sale. While the thing was still burning, because you could still that, see the phone like over the, the cleanup people going to Richard. I would say that's yeah. like people at the house. The I, I really still on fire. I, re- clean up. I refuse to do it. I was like, yes. if I get fired, I get fired. But yeah. I refuse to do it. Yeah, that's bullshit. I mean, I was pissed. Yeah, Adam. Ethics. I, that I didn't leave very long after that. <laughs> do we still have an open slot in this Colorado trip? Yes, we do. We still have four, three and a half, depending. Yeah. <laughs> four at the maximum. Three more likely. Um, Tyler. Tyler. God. Oh. <laughs> are you going to do the uh, Jeeps again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jeeps are booked. This year yeah, we don't. Down payment. Down payment, 100 bucks. <laughs> I'll, I'll take, take it. it. I'll take it. Don't Non-refundable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have four spots. Tyler's probably one of those spots. So realistically, yeah. we have three. Um we, we are doing the Jeeps again. We're doing Telluride for two days again. Which that is, that is the shit. It. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we couldn't do the castle because they wanted $27,000 or something insane because you know, they changed owners. And I was like, no. And so um, we're actually staying in Aspen. And Aspen. it's at a hotel that I think might be nicer than the place than Telluride. Yeah. What? How? Yeah. No. It's, it's, it's through the same people. But it's in Aspen. Did, did we get at least a little bit of a discount then? No. Yeah, bastards. But they let us stay in one night, and they normally have a three-night minimum. Well, I, I'm trying to talk someone from work into going. So, Mark, oh, if you're watching. Yeah. And she asked needs Shaquille O'Neal to recruit people for the Colorado Drive. That would be cool. That would be cool. I'll be at Cedar Point next week. Would love to be at Monterey Car Week someday. Where the oh, beer Cedar flows Point's, like wine? Exactly. Cedar Point's awesome. That's a lot of fun. Samsonite? That was way <laughs> off. What's the Colorado trip total? So it, that depends on a couple of things, whether what or not. Colorado trip total, like cost? That's or, what I'm assuming they're talking yeah, about. I assume What's, cost. The, your cost depends on, yeah. If you have another person that you're coming with, uh, there's a few variables. You can go on our website and you can pick the different uh, options. Like, oh, we should post it. Yeah. Um, I'll I, post I think it's, it if I remember correctly, it starts at 7,500. I think so. 7 or 75. Yeah, and let me tell you, just so you know, I have a spreadsheet with all my costs, and as it sits right now with with four missing slots, I'm losing money again, even with Jocko's infusion. Yeah. You shouldn't have told him that because now he's going to... I know, but I'm just saying. I don't, no, d- d- don't do anything. Don't even think. Where is... No, the reason I'm saying it is because it's... I have it formulated so that if everything works out great and we fill up most of the slots, basically it's break-even. So your seventy five hundred bucks is goes goes towards hotel costs and food and alcohol. Uh, okay, have you seen how any of us? Know what that is. This is not a stuffy. Uh, oh, under oh shop. Yeah. Under. Oh uh, yeah. Highly underdressed in some places we're staying, but that's a lot help. of fun. Oh, 
great. Uh, yeah, if you're on the fence, Oki, Okinja, whatever your name is, totally worth it. Like you, will, you will remember it for a lifetime. We'll go to the shop. Yeah. No, uh, Brent, uh, the unfortunate thing with a co-pilot is the room options. There isn't a room for a second dude, so you'd have to sleep. Uh, what, what's the? Uh, a couple of them have pole to hole or pole to pole. There you go. Yeah. No pillow wall. <laughs> pillow wall. Pillow Search part. for uh, event or something. There it is. There it is. So you still have twenty twenty one listed because it says there's two. He's logged in. He's got admin rights. Cause oh. I'm a winner. Mm -hmm. All I do is win, win, win. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. It starts at seven thousand. Seven, okay. Seven thousand. It goes up to what nine? If you have a guest. Yeah, it's two thousand, which is a uh, realistically your guest is making me lose money because yeah. your food costs more than two thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because no. that, that covers food, alcohol. The only thing you have to pay for is gas. Yeah, and a windshield if you break. <laughs> <laughs> and getting your car to and from. Oh, how did that go? Is it still there? No, I finally got it today. Um, oh, you got it. Yeah, I got Steve's Ferrari today. He, the guy texted me was in a meeting that went over by half an hour, and I had another meeting an hour and a half. I was like, I have exactly an hour and a half to race to Ferrari Boston at home, and he's like, I'll have it ready for you. So, yeah, I raced down there and got it, and I didn't get a rock ship coming back home. You can people that aren't logged in. Can see this right? Oh, no. oh, let's click on it once. No, I'm trying to see the. There you go. Yeah. No, I'm trying to see if you can. You can't click, click on it from there, yeah. but you, hey, you can type in there. No, I'm just wanting to see if people who comments, aren't logged in. On it I can't believe it's not filled up either. I don't. This is about as cheap as it gets for an event like this. I mean, we did the uh, the um, Ball Run GT rally. It costs as much as this. Actually, it might have been more. And it was three days. Yeah. Watch out real quick. You can see that they are currently working on the car. Cool. You can see Art, Art's bottom. You can almost see his butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, even a Lotus is welcome to go. Yes. Yeah, Lotus is fine. We, we got, well, the trailer will be stored at the hotel. Yeah. But, you know, it'll be around if you need it. You will be interviewed by Dan. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I, I legitimately talk to every single person that comes to make sure that they're not going to be a D-bag because there's only nine we don't like It's only nine spots. Yeah, it's nine yeah. spots. So, you know, one bad apple ruins it for everyone because it's, yeah. it's a tight group. I mean, you're dining together. You're hanging out together for a week straight. Yeah. yeah you're on In, radios, communicating. You're on radios. Yeah. Kind of level of trust. And someplace like Telluride. You, you you're, you're in each other's shit. You have at... At, you have your own bedroom at Telluride, but all the rest of that area is common. It's a condo. Yeah. And same thing with Aspen this year. Aspen is con two condos. Oh, together. is it really? Mm -hmm. I thought that there was a hotel for some reason. Well, it's called the Hotel. So it's, say, well, it's whatever. Hotel Jerome. That's where we're staying. Well, Aspen. So they have a hotel side, things. but they have condos too. Huh. And they, they don't like really advertise the condos because I asked. I said, hey, we've got a group, blah, blah. And like, Oh, you would probably love our condos. I'm like, yeah, I would. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, actually, well, what's yeah, the what? price before I love it? <laughs> uh, it well, yeah, it's painful. Just compared to the castle, eh, eh, eh. price wise, cheaper. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I'm twenty six thousand. I'll put it this way. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean previous year cheaper. For for three of the nights, just the hotels costs are over ten thousand dollars a night. Yeah, over. And the first night you have your own hot tub on your balcony. I couldn't believe that. Yeah. <laughs> that was insane. And then yeah, it's, Adam it's a, it's a luxury vacation. Gabe for would not runners. stop talking about the hot tubs. So it's all, <laughs> Gabe was like, oh my God, the hot tubs. I'm like, bro, have you never seen a hot tub? Before? Not on my own, my own balcony. <laughs> and then you you're like, good. and then you're like, but wait, the next place is even better. And somehow you were oh, right. yeah. No, it's that's the cool thing. So you start off at a really cool historic hotel in in uh, Manitou Springs. It's beautiful. Well, we're gonna go this year. We're including the drive up Pikes Peak. Uh, last year is optional. This year it's it's included. Well, you don't have to go, but you don't have to. But, but it's included. It's included. We're like, not gonna force you to do. Yeah, it. I'm not gonna force you. Um, then after that, we go and we stay at the place with the hot tubs on 
the balconies, and we eat food at that hotel. They have a really good uh, restaurant, actually, at the hotel. Yeah. Then the next night, we go to Telluride, and we stay at the condos, which are... Are we eating at the same restaurant again? Yeah, I got to book that still. Dude, the views from that place are yeah. dope. Yeah, that one restaurant meal is like... Holy shit, yeah. I think it was $4,000. I believe it. <laughs> You're like, should we order some tigs? Yeah, fuck it. Let's yeah. Go right. Right. We'll just get two tigs. Yeah, they're only like $300 up there. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to stay... Uh, we go there. We stay for two nights. Uh, the, the Wednesday is the Jeep day, which is, of course, optional. Last year, a lot of people didn't do it, but I think they missed out. Yeah, I think so. It was fun, super fun. I was sick as a doll. Oh, make oh, sure, yeah, you yeah, I'll take make sure you're hydrated yeah, and drink with Gatorade. You Especially because like we're drinking Gatorade. alcohol, so drink, like, one water, one alcohol, yeah. one water, one I alcohol. I seriously slept, like, 18 hours Yeah, there. There was, yeah. there was a moment where it was like, shit, does Adam have COVID? And then you were like, no, I'll be sick. I'm going to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that... That's Wednesday when we do the Jeeps, and then, nope, that, not ours. Where's yours? Over there, behind the arts uh, toolbox. What's that? The battery. New battery. Sorry. Can be right there. Sweet. James, you got to go this year or bust. Okay. Yeah, this is it. I'm not doing it again. If someone else wants to organize it, they can. I'm not. It's a pain in the ass. It takes, I mean, think about that. I'm fronting like $40,000. Yeah, you got the wrong battery. What? Yeah, it is, it is an H6. That's an H6. That's an H8. It's an H8. I have an H6. No, no, no. That's what the website says. I know. The website got it wrong. Don't believe what you see on the internet. It is an H8. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, shit. I may have ordered the wrong one on the Gravity's website, too. Well, well clearance. Where are going? <laughs> Anybody need an H8 anti-gravity battery? You can get one for the cheap. Are you sure? Yeah, looking at it's it, I would, I would agree with that. Would, it's too big. Is, is the battery well in the trunk? Yeah. yeah. It's on the passenger yeah. side of the trunk. Yeah, I, ran into, I ran into this issue before. Yup, yup, yup. I mean, I said this one was going to work, but I mean, I hear you. It's very cool. The yeah. one time that they ship it. Right, they ship day. it the same day. Oh, God damn it. Well, we'll just put them clear. It's, or you can rent a nice car. It doesn't have to be a Ferrari, since you mentioned that earlier. Someone needs an H8 Group 49. We got you. We got you. It's coming to my house. It'll be there in like three days. Call the guy that bought the Jag. Is that what they take? I think so. Oh. An H8 in the Jag, really? They're giant fucking batteries. Yeah, it's a huge. Yeah. Look at this thing. Yeah, that's it's giant. No, I know. I was like, like almost all the Ferraris are H6s. And then... I Googled it, and they're like, oh, it's an H8. And I'm like, okay. Damn it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, you can bring a plus one, Oki, okay, if you want. Yes. You just have to pay extra. Yeah. Plus ones it's are... On the, it's on the but you're paying for the food. It's, yeah. You're, paying yeah, for you're food. just paying you're for the food. You're not paying because you have a plus one. Yeah. It's because their food cost gets rolled in and all that stuff, so mm -hmm. that it's... Yeah. Uh, Admittedly, it's mostly a sausage fest, but there are a couple of women... Yeah. Yeah. My, wife gone, my wife has gone both years... The first year, she was not the only woman there. The last year, she was, and she still had a good time. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's a chill group. She'll be there again this year, too. So if you want to bring your wife, my wife will be there. That's right. So. Your your wife and I took out the Jeeps, and we both had a blast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, my well, wife had yeah, with us on Jeeping. <laughs> oh, and she's crude. She'll make, she'll make a dude blush. For sure. Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> She's more crude than a lot of dudes are. She drove Richard's four five eight down Pikes Peak. She did. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she, she did. Had, she had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good. It's a. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Good food. Crazy good hotels. Yeah. Beautiful scenery. <laughs> good driving. Hopefully. Hopefully. No. no not, snow. <laughs> not good driving. Great yeah. driving. Incredible driving. driving. It kind of sucked with the uh, the. Uh, Jeep day, it actually snowed in the mountains, yep. so we couldn't do the Jeep route we wanted to do, so yeah. we took a different route. We wanted to do Imaging Pass, yeah, but we could, which hopefully we'll get through this year. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we did a different route, which was still a lot of fun. We had an awesome time. Yep. That was, that was so cool. We just showed up to a garage full of Jeeps. It's like, yeah. I want the red one. I want the orange one. I want the green yeah, yeah. one. Let's line go. Up. Take one. Keys are in it. Jump in and go. Yep. That was pretty cool. The keys were in there. I mean, that's the thing. Dan Dan and these guys, they plan everything for you. All you do is show up, drive the shit out of your car. Pay for gas. Food. 
Uh, well, even gas stops are places. Yeah, gas stops are planned. But all you I do have is get out, pay for gas. So, like, I literally every day will send you a link. You put it, you click on it on your phone. It shows up on Google Maps, and then you just go. And we try our best to stay together, which yep. last we have year radios, we talk to each other. Yeah, everyone. It's a mandatory. Everyone has to have a radio so we can communicate. It's a lot of fun. Tell your ride to Ure. Yeah, that was the drive we wanted to do yeah, in the Jeeps. Imaging that's the imaging pass that we were trying to do. So, but last year it was it was snowed out and we were like, mm. oh yeah, you didn't go on Jeeps, Jocko. You gotta go this year. Yeah, you gotta do it. Jocko missed the Jeep thing. Yeah, it was fun, man. It's fun. Yeah. So, anyway, so they're working on that, like we said. So Tuesday we leave <laughs> because I'm driving all the way out to Monterey. I leave Tuesday morning, then I'm staying in Phoenix, and then staying in Fred's place. And then going to Monterey. Yep. Yes, I'm taking the McLaren if I go. We need to make sure it's buttoned up and can handle 1,200 miles of uh, 8,000 RPMs. <laughs> and high altitude. And high altitude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too hungover, Jack. Right yeah. Here, but... yeah, it's running fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. No leaks now? Uh, when you're on it hard, you can smell cool. Really? I wonder if it's got another clamp. Probably. We should just go through yeah, that, that's, the, that's the big thing I want to do before paying. Well, <laughs> when we get back. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Fred's house looks cool. It is. It's a very nice house. Yep. Yes. The pedal is getting closer. We'll have to show you the pedal when it's done. They've been making it all day. Yeah. Do they um, change the placement of the... Um, <laughs> he says, it's a good thing one knows how to just push a button. <laughs> did, did they change the um, distance of the brake and the, the gas pedal once they put the clutch in? Uh, you, you have to shave the brake pedal. That's actually, uh, the brake pedal in the in the three-pedal cars is actually narrower than it is in the two-pedal okay. cars. From the factory. That's how it is on most yeah. cars. Cool. Because in most automatic transmissions, it's like the uh, brake pedal is like a rectangle. And then, right. You know, it's yeah. more of a square. Got to make yeah. sure you can heel toe. We're, we're probably not going to Concord the Lemons because we don't have time. We we're only there for three days. We got, it's going to be busy. Um, Adam will be bringing the Porsche. Oh, you're going to have to get your Porsche ready. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I ordered. I ordered some more part. There's a one line that I think is shaped that I'm going to have to go back and look at. Mm. It's on back order until the 35th of week. Oh, my God. Uh, which is? I don't know. Like a month. She said about a month. Ooh. Oh. Okay. You go with Jack Card and steal one? Yeah, because, you know, those are laying around the yeah. country. Oh, yeah. We'll so start looking on Turo. Yeah. No. In the... Dress up in all black and go steal one out of a Porsche dealership. That's the thing. It's on back order Dude, everywhere. I got a great solution. Like, a car in the lot. Find one on Turo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy did who showed up the first day. He had an NSX from, from Turo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. But I'm not. I don't know. Go ahead. Well, yeah, I don't know if you could get away with doing the whole trip with a, a rental. I wouldn't do a single day with the rental. You could, but you'd have a lot of overage on your miles. Because we're doing, yeah. we're driving six to eight hours a day. Yeah. So it's it's twelve hundred miles. Long worst time. case scenario, yeah. we'll take the wife's BMW if the tire if we get a new tire. <laughs> worst <laughs> worst case scenario, you could take a dealer car. I, could, I, I don't know that I want to do that. Shut up. <laughs> no, it's I'm convertible. Not, you know you'd like it rather drag my balls across a mile of broken glass than you know. What? Uh, <laughs> is that sweet. how you feel about it? Is that what we're going to hear on Saturday? No. It's actually funny. Uh, need a lot of normal guy perspective content from Monterey. Coming your way. We will do that. Yes. So. <laughs> Take the Cali. No. Oh, God. God. We'd put 400% more miles that are on it. Nope. Man, that would be the ultimate reliability test for the BMW, though. It would. But this trip? Colorado. 
<laughs> if you have to, that's a fun fun car. Oh, it's more than fun. Eight thousand RPM. Yeah. Manual. Manual. Yeah. It'd be fun. You guys know that the shop they are in converting all those cars to manual, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. No. Oh whoa. Oh. Holy crap. <laughs> no, yeah. So some people are probably like, oh, what are they doing back there? Uh, you know. It's actually a green screen. <laughs> this is all imaginary, you know? You lick it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You we, saw you s- lick it? <laughs> we saw the, the three pedal comment about Ferrari owners. Yeah. yeah. The small is very. Oh, uh, like actually, very that's what I should do. All right, hold on. I'll, get, I'll bust out the old, the old Camaro. Here comes some great AV work again. There you go. Oh. I think my phone overheated. I'm gonna, let me give it a minute. All right, let me, let me let my phone. It's not. I think the camera may have just overheated. All right, oh, sure. it probably might have just turned itself off. Yeah, I was like, why are you keeping it not like functional for a long time? Anyway, I'm gonna walk around and show you some of the cars that are here, because you know, you guys might like that. Yeah, some cool shit. This does not look like it's working. Maybe it is. Oh, oh, there you go. There it is. Come on. There it is. Okay, hold on. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm new. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. All right. Check it out. Nope. Well, oh, this one's not converted yet. Uh, what are we doing over here? Uh, Mid conversion. That's kind of underway. Here's a. 30 engine, Dylan, and uh, the uh, where the 430 engine is supposed to go. <laughs> oh, here you go. Yeah, that. Oh, dude. Uh, there's the transmission, and where the transmission would go. And uh, oh, look, mid conversion. Is underway. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, this one's mostly together. Oh yeah, this one's looking close to done. Here, what else we got? Hmm. Oh yeah, underway. And uh, finally, yeah. still underway. Yeah. So then all, all of those, all of those. Our five nine nines waiting to be converted. Wow. Yeah, a whole lot of five nine nines. And as long as we're walking around, I might as well show you the uh, every different car that's here. <laughs> Look at this thing. Good lord. Yeah, that thing's epic. Look at that. Oh, oh. Yeah, real SV. Oh. One day. One day. And then, all right, we'll go take a look at the, uh, what's going on over here. Yeah. Got it right there. And, oh, yeah, there's a, just a couple of uh, some conversion parts lined up. There's, uh, there's some assembled ones over here of course assembly parts for the conversions and more stuff over here all right yeah oh yeah it looks like it looks like you're working hard we got we got oh it sounds terrible There you go. There's a, a tour of the shop and all the crap going on. All right. All right. Turn back to the camera. That's crazy. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Wrong one. There it is. All right. So, so that part that they're uh, building the CNC machine, is that one part? And, and like 
So they have to do like how many of those do they have to make? One for for each car. Because I'm saying it, it feels like it's taking pedal. a while. Or a okay. clutch pedal. That's a clutch pedal. So that thing must be running 24 seven. Right? Mm, not yet. They're not quite there yet because they're still produce like they're still designing the parts. So the prototyping is slow. But then once they get a part, as Luke was saying, once they've done a part and they're happy with it and it's totally done, they put the block of metal in there, they push a button, and they can walk away. Okay. And then you come back in an hour or whatever. And then they can start getting really tricky and design it to make like more than one at a time. Ooh. But You have to buy another piece. Well, they have a piece that could change out parts. The block, yeah. Yeah. They, so they have stuff that can do that, but... Yeah, what is the white bed in the trunk? That's just... white bed. Oh, it's, it's plastic. plastic. It's the plastic, like that you saw in all the other cars. Yeah, like uh, what stuff. it was covering it while they weren't working on it. It's plastic. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Um, the SV is here to get converted. Nice. <laughs> yes, that is the the goal of the SV. All every car here. Every single thing here is here for the purpose of being converted. Oh, I didn't even show you our 575. I'll have to show you that later. I'll do it again. We got plenty of time. Yeah, we got time. It's only 9 o'clock. Where's the McDonald's? I hear you. What's the most McDonald's ever? Three ever? It's bullshit. God. The money back. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a lot of crap going on. Like, So all these people that are like, giving shade it's like dude this is there's a lot to get ramped up this is it's this is a, it's a ton of shit i mean yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a ton of work so where where the oem manual mercy svs where are they like i mean i think they only made eight eight manual mercy svs from lamborghini oh and then up. what uh oh, he's crawling, crawling in yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's like I'm too old for shit. Yeah. I should. Yeah, I need a water bottle. A water bottle? That's where Art gets his sleep. He just falls asleep in the cars. Right? Yeah. Poor bastard. <laughs> yeah, once they start doing some more wrenching, we'll, we'll take the uh, cell phone and throw it under the car or whatever. Yep. Right. Which car has been the biggest challenge? Probably the 599. Uh, yes, there are four. Spots left in the devaluation tour, Jocko. <clears throat> does your shop have the much insurance to cover those five to nines? Their shop does. Yeah. My shop doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> the one day in your garage. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> our our dealership insurance does not because dealership insurance is oh, expensive. Yeah. This is like garage insurance, which is totally different. It's basically like storage insurance. How many boomers does it take to convert a Ferrari? Oh, what? <laughs> we call a boomer! Man! Jeez! You're balding, and you're old, and you have a kid. You're a boomer. Apparently, that's the definition of boomer now. <laughs> it is now. Like, if you're older than me, you're a boomer. Uh, anticipating any YouTuber cameos on Monterey? Maybe. Um, there is one particular YouTuber who has said they want to drive the 599, assuming it makes it out there. We're gonna try and make that happen. He's someone you guys probably know and probably like. I like him. He's one of the few YouTubers I actually like. Ooh. I'll put that one. Oh, it, it does actually. It's like, <laughs> there's like four of them. <laughs> so no, I, I, um, if that thing's coming with us, I'm gonna spend the entire drive out to Monterey, just pinging them, saying, "Hey, who's in Monterey? Do you want to drive it?" Nice. So I'd like to get as much, you know as we can. Um, and then obviously after we get it back, if there's YouTubers that can't make it to Monterey, we'll, we'll open that up obviously to certain YouTubers. We'd love to have them drive the car just because I, I mean, why not let Damon of DDE drive it? No, I don't want it broken. I want it crashed. Kind of, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just kidding. I probably would let Damon drive it if he wanted to. Yeah. Let like Kevin Hart drive it. Kevin Hart. That would be the way to crash it. Oh, yeah. He would definitely crash Does it. He ha is he known for crashing a lot of cars like that? He crashed oh. the Enzo, didn't he? I think so. Really? Did he? Oh, Wasn't that Kevin Hart? Enzo or? 
What? Some of, some famous Something comedian nice. crashed an Enzo. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was Kevin Hart. I know a famous uh, movie oh, no, it star was, who it was, crashed uh, a Porsche. What's his name? Is Eddie Murphy? No, Eddie something other. <laughs> What? What's so funny? About I, no, I, I don't know why. I'm just laughing at Eddie Murphy. Just <laughs> uh, you'll like this comment, Art. Will I punch Matt Fair in the face if I see him? <laughs> <laughs> Take that as a yes. Eddie Griffin. That's it. Uh, Eddie Griffin crashed an Enzo. He was driving. So the, the story is there was a rich guy who was funding whatever movie that was, it wasn't Fast and Furious. It was some crappy knockoff, like, uh, whatever. And they had Need an Enzo. Need for Speed? Some, yeah, maybe it was Need for Speed. And they had an Enzo in it, or he owned an Enzo, and Eddie Griffin was driving his Enzo and crashed it. And mm-hmm. there's video of it. Like, he totally just locked up the brakes and just plowed it right off of the road. That's good. Yeah, if you want to Google that video later. Damon Twin Turbo to 599 with the exhaust coming out of the hood. I know, I saw that. It's... I thought it was an F12. Yeah, it was an F12, not a 599. Did he do 599 too? I don't know. Whatever. I, I legitimately have not watched DDE in years. I don't know. I've never watched them. It's like, if you, it's kind of like, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. I don't want to, like, I don't Let's want, talk about our YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about other people's YouTube channels because I don't like the way most other YouTubers do their YouTube channels. That's why I do mine the way I do. And obviously, people don't like that as much because, because we're way smaller than they are. Yeah, but my channel's not as big as theirs. So obviously, I have the wrong formula for entertainment value, but I go to sleep at night and I like what I do. And we're providing valuable service to the Super Park community. Okay. There you go. Sometimes. No, I'm Something. just saying that's what like our mission statement is. Yeah. <laughs> we have a mission it's statement. House and straight pipes on board. We need Canadian content. So this content. is what it's like to look <laughs> at the world from the short of a height. Ouch. Yeah, throttle house and straight pipes are good. I've never heard bring, of them. Bring it here. You know Tedward? He just drives. Does the POV camera? He's good. He's up here in uh, New England. No. Just, just driving. Never seen it. I don't, like I, said, I don't watch much YouTube. Yeah, that's true. You don't. You watch Except boat. for boats. He watches. I actually so watch boat way stuff. more boat content than car content. Because it's it's okay. Imagine you you take your job right. You do your job. You work a you work a sixteen hour day. You come home. Then you're gonna go play more with your job. <laughs> Shut up, Andrew. <laughs> You're not helping. So all I'm saying is sometimes I just want to step out of the car world and like click turn off my brain. And boats I don't give a shit about. So boats I can like watch boat videos and be like, eh, I don't care. Speaking of boats, how many tanks of fuel did you go through on your I only went through two or three tanks. Oh. Two tanks for sure. Okay. So that's two hundred gallons of gas. Yeah. In a week. <laughs> That's still pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we easily spent like fifteen hundred bucks in fuel. Yeah, it was fun. We we used it every single day. Awesome. It was great. The kids were loving it. Like all of us adults tried to like wakeboard. <laughs> Only Darcy was able to get up on the wakeboard. Okay. All the rest of us just injured ourselves. Like that was a okay. Talk about a realization that like oh man, I am not as young as I used to be. I tried to get up on the wakeboard. I tried. I think four or five times, I felt it for three days. Yeah. I was like, oh, God. Uh, uh. It's just like, uh, you know? It wasn't like you were beat up, but it was just stiff. Yeah. You know? So do you buy a 48 to do more job after job? Yes. That's actually, I, yeah. Yes. But yeah. it's different when you're not driving it or recording it while you're driving it. Yeah, there's, there's a difference between, like, doing the videos and just, working on a car and enjoying working on the car and that sort of stuff. So like, it's kind of weird. You have to consider like what we do for our quote job versus what we do for stuff that's enjoyable because we love cars. It's like, I genuinely love working on cars. When I film working on a car, now it's for the company. And it's different. And it, it's not that I don't like that. I it's just Captain Stab is pretty entertaining too. <laughs> don't Google that. No, don't. So it's just, you know, 
I feel sorry for the married gynecologist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got to ruin it, man. No. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Mm, oh. This is not so good. Yeah. Mm, not good at all. That's hilarious. It was actually. That was legit. Yeah. <laughs> you win the jokes for the night. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Just checking out some stuff. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, everyone hit the like button. Appreciate that. Always do. Oh, yeah. Smash that like button. Mm. Smash. Smash it. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Magic loop. Where's Fred when you need him? Ladies. I know. Where's Fred? <laughs> I know. I need to actually take that off. We talk about the lube and make that a short. Oh, you should. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to do that. It's just like lube. Is the Freight comparable in speed to F8? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty darn close. Um, I think the F8 has slightly more power, if I remember correctly. I would say, from my experience, the launch control is better in the F8 than in the 48. Like, a little bit better. That was the only real notable thing performance-wise. Excuse me. Fred needs to explain himself. Yes. Um, Rory Boston has a lot of 48. Yeah. There's at least eight. Yeah. Really? I don't know if they're they're in the showroom, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Four eighty eight versus a two ninety six. That's a good question. This is hot. I mean, just because the two ninety six is gonna be substantially more expensive, I would take the four eighty eight right now. But I would rock a 296 pretty hard. I, I really like that car. Yeah. It was, it was pretty sweet. Can you convert an F12? Yeah. Nope. You have to change the transmission. Uh, yeah, so uh, well, any of the DCT cars, you cannot convert. You have to swap the transmission and then do some other shit. So, just, yeah, <laughs> Adam, squirrel! <laughs> Shiny yeah. other. Hand fair your business card first, then punch him, then get in the five to nine and slip the clutch as you drive away. <laughs> <laughs> like, I personally have nothing against Matt Farah. Never met him, never talked to him. Yep. Him and Art don't get along. Y'all should see the size of the turbo in that fucker. Oh. Sorry. Thing. Show him. We can show him later. <laughs> Yeah. Who and who don't what get along? Oh, we don't want to go there. Okay. We already talked about you can it. read it right there. You were shiny things. Yeah. I, I don't like to stir up crap, <laughs> especially when it's not crap directly related to me. So yeah. that's not my thing. <laughs> yeah. That's like that's like drama for the sake of drama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a squirrel moment. I caught a glimpse of how big the turbo was in that car. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you two could hear that. Uh, I hope you two heard that. I'm not we, gonna oh, I was gonna say I, can't, I don't think we can hear him. Good. Uh, yeah, probably get that. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I can't at least. Yeah. Well, if you can't, then they can't. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. We'll still need to do. Uh, we'll need to do a 650 versus 48 video. And Ooh. Yes. Get on both of them and exhaust them. Oh. I, I like. I like what you're thinking. Yeah. Yes. Although I might still do sport cats, I don't know. I don't know if I need it to be that death and loud. If you got valves, but they don't do valves on those cars. If it were me, uh, I'll be the voice of reason here. I would do sport cats. Okay. Sport cats cost more too, but you gotta get tuned if you don't. Yeah. You probably need a tune either way, actually. Well, I'm pretty sure that car has a tune already. So. Uh, we'll see yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you're saying that you uh, stopped watching a particular person whose name we won't <laughs> mention, but yeah. So how come Fry isn't having supply chain issues where the other companies are? Because I mean, they, they are. Built, yeah, they well, are. first of all, they Fewer did. Fewer number of cars. They did. It, like people who ordered cars didn't get them for an extended period of time, longer than usual. Like usually you wait like an, a year. It was like a year and a half, closer to two years. So they still are backed up. Like if you if you ordered a two ninety six today. You're not getting it for like a year and a half to two years. Yeah. They don't have two twenty thousand uh, Fiat brake booster caps. Right. The difference is, Ferrari people already know it's going to take forever to get their car, so they don't bitch. They're just like, yeah, whatever. You know. So, I'm just saying that. Oh, there's some McDonald's. Sweet. 
It's almost like we should like. I wish we had an intermission button. <laughs> you need <laughs> to do a, Adam. You need to do a mukbang. A what? Oh, no, don't. No. It's just when you eat on camera. A mukbang. Yeah, no. No. It sounds it sounds no. a lot worse than it is. It does sound worse than this, but no, I don't like eating on camera. <laughs> no, no. Even I have. I don't. It wouldn't bother me. <laughs> Even the the like half a piece of pizza I ate on camera because uh, makes me feel Tom, guilty. Yeah, on his pizza. <laughs> It's just weird. I don't like it. The F8 engine is not directly from the Pista. It's very close to the Pista. It's not the exact same. Like, they have slightly different turbos from what I understand. And I think some of the internals are different. So, Pista is more like race car y, durable, whatever. Um, supposedly. Yeah. Eating the 599? No. Eating the 575. It doesn't have seats. Yeah, you keep, the seats are on the floor. They're not in the car right now. It doesn't matter. Just seat, seat, seat. I can just pull out. <laughs> actually, I can do that. I can pull out a 599 seat and just sit in there and just chomp on a burger. And be like, hey, there you go. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember the differences between the F8 and the Pista engine, but there are some differences. And I knew that. I know the turbos are not the same, but I don't know what else. I don't want to like tell you the wrong info. Some someone on the internet is gonna be like, Dan, why does he's a dick? <laughs> Sorry, just it, 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 it say something different, but yeah. Oh yeah, it, <laughs> douchebag. I'm always a douchebag. Yeah. You so are because it's a Ferrari thing. If you're a Ferrari guy, it's always you're a douchebag. It's the default. There you go. Um, anyway, so any of you that oh, weren't right. watching the first half of this video, yes, we are at European Auto Group. That is my five to nine. And we're trying to get it running tonight. That's the hope. The reason is we're trying to get it brought to Monterey Car Week, which we're leaving for on Tuesday. So we don't have much time, which is why they're working late, trying to get this thing done for us. And we are going to be in Monterey Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, Thursday at Mecom, Saturday at Exotics on Broadway, hopefully with that 5 9 so if you're going to exotic or if you're going to Monterey Car Week and you'd like to meet up with us or whatever, send us an email or DM something. Uh, maybe we'll try and set some, some, something up on Friday. Um, otherwise, you can meet us at one of those events. But yeah. yeah, there you go. I'm coming. Just tie me to the roof. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And then um, the other thing we we're talking about is... Shortly after that, a uh, little over a month from now, is the Tour of Colorado. And we have three spots left, I'm going to say. You're, you're coming. You don't have a choice. I, I, I made that choice for you. You're not, That's fair. Yeah. Jocko made that choice for you. I already have like, the time to go. So. Yeah, there you go. So three spots left on the Tour of Colorado. It starts at $7,000. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's 1,200 miles over a week. <laughs> The most fun driving you'll have probably in your life and it's it's adults okay oh. it's not a rally yeah, it's not a rally we don't drive like assholes we do oh. drive fun we drive spirited yes yeah, spirited. but we do it when it's safe, like safe, safe and safe. and reasonable and whatever um you know like there was a, a dude who recently got killed on one of the roads that we drive on because he was driving like an asshole yep. so we're not gonna do that there you go yeah Considering Amelia Island next year, eh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I think Monterey is better. Looks better. Like, I don't know. Would I prefer a manual 430 or a 458? Ask me again. 458. 430. That was weird. 458. I don't really have a 458. I, the thing about the 458, though, is the dual clutch transmission. Yeah. So that's why I would rather have a dual clutch 458 and a single or a six shift 430. Yeah. No, I mean, if you're going to have a manual 430, that's the way to go. Oh, dude. You are... Mazel talk. Oh, sweet. Nice. All right. I'm going to go with Santa over here and eat a burger. <laughs> I'll be off camera. You can still hear me. It's I'll fine. Just, just eat on camera. We don't care. No, I don't want to be on camera. What's a $100,000 Canadian? I don't get it. Like 50 bucks. Oh. <laughs> oh, they have the trip. What a yoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Jay, um, 
No, we won't be doing 190 on a road that you should be going on 60. Let me see. That was the guy, I, I think, pretty sure his name was Larry. That's the guy that, uh, I think he's going 140 something. They said that. Does anybody know for sure? Or were they the authorities just speculating? Because oh speculating. my god, he's going too fast. Considering the Porsche was less than the size of the cabin that was left. I don't know. Where has mouse trap been? That's a really yeah, good that's, question. That's a really good question, John. Oh yeah, that's true. I was setting up some mouse traps in my house the other day. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen mouse trap in a while. <laughs> 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 I'm not kidding. There's more in here, by the way. He's all right. I trust you. I'm still here. <laughs> I can hear you chewing, Dan. Of course you're there. That's probably me. No, yeah. I'm kidding. I guess I'll stop. Thanks. Yeah. I can't even see the bottom first. Yeah, it's always like that. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, there is your friend. Um, that sucks, Dan. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> His oh. mouse trap is harvest, harvesting maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there riding a moose from tree to tree. <laughs> Moose is loose in the hoose. Yeah. <laughs> you get a random box full of maple syrup. <laughs> that should be, a, like, anyone in Canada that sends us, some, like, a, uh, any sort of gift or whatever, it has to be maple syrup. Yes. What happened to Omar from a while ago? He's here. He's Thanks. around. He hangs out at the Howard a lot. Mm -hmm. He's our friend. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but you don't always hang out with your friends every day. That's true. <laughs> that's why they're friends and not spouses. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, if that's the case, you and I are damn near a spouse. Yes, yeah, that's no, true. I, I'm around you yeah. probably as much as I am Meg. That's depressing, isn't it? <laughs> God damn, I gave up that to be around you? <laughs> Where did all my life go wrong? Right. <laughs> Lots of places, apparently. <laughs> You are dumb enough to invite me on to this shenanigan. <laughs> oh, True <it>. story. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, ask more questions. Yeah. We're waiting on we're waiting on the clutch pedal and other things. We're running out of material here. We're right at the normal hour and a half when we're drying up with content. I know. All of our jokes have been said. But we're we're gonna keep going. Dan needs another baby. No, he no. doesn't. Yeah. No. He's babied out. <laughs> you need to put all the whining with Dan and Maids on a playlist on the channel. They are actually hard to search for. There is. Is yeah. there? Yeah, there's a playlist. A playlist. Yeah. Huh. Well, John, there's, there needs to be more of them. I'll go with that. Well, this is what whining with Dan was. It basically True. was. Yeah. 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 The difference is the wig is hot. Oh, yeah. But if you're doing it in your in your house now, your air conditioned house, dude, it still gets hot. Does it? You wear it for more than ten minutes, and you're like, oh my god, I'm sweating. I really think that people just want to see Meg. Probably. Mm -hmm. That's true. Think there'll be an F8 variant, or is the 286 the next model? I don't know. They didn't do an F8 variant, did they? They just kind of jumped. Dan needs another Mo. Now that's something I can get behind. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm good with that. No. You don't want another dog? No. I have three dogs, and they're I, awesome. I, I thought that was on the plan last time. I it was, Greg. and we babysat oh, um, yeah. Otis. Otis. Yeah, yeah, but when they calm down after a while, once they once it's not fun to them anymore. I don't know. Did you change your shirt? Yeah, when I went home. <laughs> yeah, this one's got stains on it, so I can work on the car if I need to. <laughs> We were talking today about how he always ends up wearing a new shirt when it's uh, working on the car. Because we didn't know we were going to do this much work today. Oops. So. He's a lettuce. Yeah. Dude, I can't remember the last time I had a Big Mac. No. I only eat Big Macs on the road. This is the first time I've eaten a Big Mac like at home in forever. <laughs> like a Big Mac in Austin never happens. Well, you're in Round Rock, so I guess your record is still clear. That's true. The SP48 Unico is the F8 variant? I don't know. I don't know enough about Ferraris. Huh? Say that again? Okay, so we got a cruise. R Ricky was saying there was an F8 variant, and his next comment was SP48. Oh. Well, yeah. Sure. Take your word for it. 
Okay, do you work on a, a ship? Dude, okay. you you ain't wrong. I do need that. I've start, I've ordered the rest of what I think is needed for it. So my portion. Yeah. Rotate. Okay. Okay's asking if you should bring the FF or the F12 on the Colorado trip. Mm. F12. Yeah, F12. Yeah. F12. I mean, you're gonna enjoy it better. And Adam or not Adam. Uh, John's ring is F12 too. So. Yeah, we already got uh, an F12. I think there's, I thought there's two. Well, it'll be Chris. Yeah, Chris. Oh, was that Chris saying that? And who'd you say, Gabe? Okie. Who was that? Oh, Okie. Okay. Okie. Oh, so it'll be a third one. So yeah, definitely Dude, bring that. Dude, yeah, one. yeah. Then we'd have three F12s? That'd be the, the year of the B12? <laughs> Damn. Jeez, we'd have more cylinders than like... <laughs> <laughs> Driving on the road, there's 700 cylinders firing right now, just so you know. It'd be crazy. God, that'd be glorious going through those canyons. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, the sounds. Ooh. How many that's, cylinders do you have? All of them? Yeah, we have all the cylinders. That's one thing that's really funny is when you've got a line of Ferraris and you're in a group like that, the sound that you get, you just want to run with your windows down. You're like, this is so glorious. Like every time someone in front of you just stabs it, you're like, oh yeah. Then you hear the guy behind you downshifting, and you're like, oh, oh so good. That, that's why I'm super excited to have the, the convertible with the window that drops. So yes. I can still have the windows up and not blow mm -hmm. my ears out, but still hear everything. Oh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. I'm hoping my piece will be that last special V8 F car. That's a, I mean, it's possible. It might be. I don't know. Count the CI cylinder index for the channel. <laughs> I like it. Cylinder mm -hmm. index. Yes, this is a 64-cylinder drive or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm curious. I, like I mean, if we have three, four V12s, we'd have 48 cylinders right there. Wow. <laughs> and a V6. And a straight six. And a straight six. Bringing down the average. God. Flat six, not straight six. Whatever. If you're going to talk shit, get it right. Fair enough. No, you got to talk wrong because that pisses them off. <laughs> is, uh, is Richard going? Is Richard going? Nope, not this year. Yeah. Nope. Um, from the original crew. Me and you. Just us, me and Adam. Yeah, yeah. me and Adam and Jen. Our trip got a whole lot less classy now. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's not going this year? True. That's true. I mean, yeah, Richard. Richard yeah. brought the class up to a, a 10. That is, that is accurate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much faster can it get? I mean, yeah, all the faster. The whole group will be getting <laughs> about 4,000 feet per gallon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not even. Not even. Yeah, that'd be actually really crazy there, there math. There'll be a 91 octane fuel deficit every stop. Oh, how much bigger is the 599 yeah. than the 555? It is noticeably larger. It's yeah. a chunky boy. It is a big car. Yeah. Uh, actually, that was one of the funny things is even though the 575 is a V12, when I put it in my garage, I was like, oh man, this is a really small car. Like it's it's not imposingly large. Versus the 599, you pull out your garage, you're like, that's a huge bitch. Then you pull it in the F12 and you're like, oh my God. Like this thing is monster. They're just way larger. So same thing, like if you put a like 355 or a 348 next to a 430 or later or a 360 or later, it's like, holy shit. Yeah. Did you guys sell the 575? Not yet. Nope. Right there. It's over there. Here. There it is. Still exists. Yeah. You, the uh, racing is going going well. Focusing on sim racing now. Sim and kart racing. Still have to get out there on track for a, a real a real car race. Haven't figured that one out yet. I was thinking Lambo would unveil their next V12 soon, but probably not at Monterey. I thought they were done. I thought they said they were still going to do them. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't keep up with Lamborghini that yeah, closely. I don't either. I just I don't pay attention to all like the newest, latest, and greatest cars because I can't afford them. Yeah. So I, I pay attention to the ones that are like five years or older. Ones that are hitting their depreciation curve. Yeah, once they hit the depreciation curve. Well, that's a good question. Um, if I got oh, up oh, up oh, shit, stuff moved. So if I got the exhaust controller for the F12, what's the difference in the exhaust controllers? I don't. Is this better? Well, no, 
like there's fours. I think there's two forces that work on the F12. I don't remember, but you want the cheaper one. I mean, they both work if I remember correctly. So for the F12, it's not a problem. A12 is kind of weird. 982 GT3 RS is getting unveiled at Quail. We won't be there. We can't afford tickets to that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Gabe, you should get one of the ballers of the channel to sponsor you. Yeah, give it some time. Let's see. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll send you an NGS sticker. I got a premium sticker for you. Premium. We will mail you this. But first class. We're not doing no overnight stuff. Yeah, yeah. I can't afford, like, you know. Yeah, media mail. Media mail. Yeah, the cheap shit. I mean, you're not going to buy my tires? Uh, no. You can have my pull-offs. My, Actually, uh, go-kart tires. Is he talking about go-kart tires? Go-kart tires are Go-kart tires cheap. are cheap. You can get for like 30 bucks. Uh, where is Loper? He, uh, he actually was with us at Tim's uh, funeral. God, he, he's yeah. still missing that. In Dallas, for work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, for those of you that I was somewhere don't know, um, we did uh, take Tim, uh, and you know Tim passed away. Um, actually, uh, a week and a half ago. As long as it two weeks ago now. Oh yeah, it was Thursday. Three weeks. Like Three weeks. It was Jeez. on my birthday. It was on your birthday. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, well, summer birthday. So shit always happens. Yeah. So but after Tim passed away, they had a um, like a, a funeral, and then. Uh, afterwards, the next day they had a like we took Tim from Austin to San Antonio to the Fort Sam Houston Cemetery so that he could have a military burial, uh, which was incredible. Uh, they had I'm gonna guess 50 police motorcycles and police cars block Highway I-35. Interstate 35, all the way from Austin to San Antonio for us. Awesome. It was insane. It was just unbelievable. And like we had a bunch of us and Ferraris in it and all that stuff. It was, it was pretty cool. And then once we got to the burial site, they actually had a horse-drawn carriage bring in his casket and stuff like that. The pics of Stu on the bridge were, man, I, I was doing pretty good. And Stu calls me and tells me, hey, tell me when you're going to leave. Tell me when you're going to leave. I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll text you when we leave. And he's like, I'm going to I'm gonna go stand on the bridge, and I'm going to hold up a flag. I'm like, all right, that'll be cool. And I didn't think it was going to impact me like it would. And we came up. He kind of crested a hill, and I said, here's Stu, standing there like an idiot with the Ferrari flag and the American flag. And I started crying. I was like, oh, my God. That was, that was, you know, that was cool. That was very cool. So, anyway, and then the rest of us after the ceremony, we went and had a uh, really nice lunch and just, you know, hung out like a, like Tim was still there, you know, just shooting the mm -hmm. shit, having fun, doing car stuff. <laughs> so, it was, it was cool. I mean, it's sad. It's very sad. You know, it was way too soon. Um, but, you know. Anyway, I don't want to bring everyone down. <laughs> Sorry. It was, it was tough. So, Stu's doing good. He actually couldn't go to the ceremony because he got COVID. Oh, no. So, oh, that's, that. why, that's why he stood on the bridge. He's like, I can't oh. go, man. I got COVID. We're like, I mean, oh, he, made the best, he made the best of it. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, he's like, I can't go. So, I'll, here's what I'm going to do. I'm like, all right. That's awesome. Um, the funeral did not make the news, but it did. Uh, someone posted about it on Reddit. It was pretty funny. They're like, I don't know what I just saw. They're like, I just saw a bunch of police cars blocking the road for a funeral procession with a bunch of like regular cars and then a bunch of Ferraris and Porsches and Lamborghinis. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, that was us. So it was it was pretty cool. I agree, Peace Theory. I want a party for my funeral. I want Absolutely. people need to live it up. Don't sit there and cry and shit. Talk. You know, have fun. That's that's. I don't want to remember sad. I want to remember happy. I agree with that. Yeah. 
I don't want to talk about this right now. This is very depressing. Yeah. Good lord. Yeah. It's taking a turn here. I don't want to talk about this. Yeah. This is this is way more cool. <laughs> right now. An Irish wake. Amen. Go. That's the way to do it, man. That's, that's good. I yeah, I don't know how much longer they're gonna be until we get parts, but I'm guessing it's gonna be late. Yeah, come back and do a part two. Well, Art's, Art's giving us the the beer pose. Yeah, because we need that pedal, I think, before we can get too much further. I want to be weakened at Bernie's for a while, just drag my dead body around. I'm okay with that. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Let's talk about how reliable <laughs> Jags and Lotuses are. Hey, my Jag had no problem, so hopefully the new owner has no problem. So far, we've seen him a few times. He was at Cars and Coffee. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's actually local, so. That's awesome, man. So you'll occasionally see it. Uh, we are not 3D printing. The pedal is being machine, CNC machine. Um, they actually do have 3D metal printers here that aren't set up yet. So that's coming soon. How about Dawn Patrol Sunday morning at Pebble? Get yourself a hat. Uh, we're not staying till Sunday. Unfortunately, we need to get home. So Saturday night. Yeah, that's gonna be rough, man. Oh yeah, driving all the way back down. Thursday's gonna be rough. Saturday's gonna be rough. Thursday we're leaving at probably like three or four in the morning to get up there. So because it's like a five six hour drive. If you want to do the PCH, it's like an eight hour drive. Yeah. So I don't know if we want to do that. And then doing shit all day long, and then driving back then. we're gonna have a live Thursday night. Oh, we are. someone asked earlier when you were. Yeah, we're gonna try and do a live from there Monterey. We're doing a live. Uh, so the Thursdays would be really <laughs> tough. Fridays would be like sleep in, then play with the five by nine, and that's it. <laughs> Recover. Then Saturday we've got exotics on Broadway for most of the day. And then we'll probably leave from there, yeah. is my guess. Now we're another long day. That ends at 5. Yeah, that ends at like 4 or 5. So even if we drive from 5, Woo. we're not getting home until like midnight, 1 a.m. Again, it's going to be a rough day. Yep. So the good news is Sunday, at least for us, we only have to drive to Phoenix. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. So it's like only six hours. Cool. So Someone asked how long the drive is. What? From Texas to Monterey, it's, uh, it's like 1,400 miles, 1,500 miles. Actually, to Monterey, it's like 1,600 miles. But, well, from yeah. Texas, to what part of Texas? I guess Austin. Right? Austin. Because varies quite, quite a bit. Yeah. No, from El <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, maybe so, closer to El Paso. Once the pedal is done, they have to reassemble the pedal box, which won't take very long. Yeah. Install it, which won't take very long. Then bleed the clutch, and uh, that's it. Well, that's not it. Then you still have the exhaust. Well, but while they're doing that, uh, Luke is going to be working underneath doing that. Oh, okay. They're going to double tag team. It's so because of how the pedal is sitting in there right now, it's being held by the top part of the pedal. Let me let me find the pedal real quick. So. <laughs> uh, Fred's house to Austin. Fred's, Fred's house to Austin is like 13, 1400 miles. It's like 20, 21 hours, I think. That's, uh, yes, it's not good. It's great. The worst part is like half that's in Texas. All right, and the other half's in New Mexico. So here, this is the 3D printed version of the pedal, like the actual pedal. So it's being held in by a clamp right here in the CNC machine. And they're what they're doing now is they're milling down this part right here. So they're taking all this it. material. Oh, Take sorry. Sorry. Thank you. They're what? clamping it right here, right? So it's like this being clamped. And what they're doing is they're machining down all this material right here from the block. And what's happening is, is because that spindle spins at 14,000 RPMs, when they're cutting it at like four mils off a pass, 
it's vibrating it and it's making jagged cuts. So now what they're having to do is they're doing 0.15 mil off every uh, cycle, and that's what's taking so long. Liar. So all they're doing is they're just this last little bit right here is all. It's, I don't know how to show this, <laughs> but basically they're just finishing up the foot part of it. Um, but because of, uh, it's so long from where it's being held, it vibrates. Mm -hmm. it. So that's what um, is taking so long because it's doing 0.15 millimeter of a pass. I don't know if you guys can hear it right now, but every time it goes, e, yeah. that's just 0.15. Then e, 0.15. Normally he does four mils at a time. And if you're taking four mils off, yo, well, it's that four, adds up. It's almost four X slower. Yeah. Almost. So, that's what the holdup is right now. You make a good prop comment. Oh, good, good, expla good explanation, Adam. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how no, they caught that. If they is saw it millimeters, it. millimeters or mils? Millimeters. Millimeters. Point one five millimeters. Okay. Yeah. Millimeters. I wonder if they, they could see it creating jagged lines with their eye, or if they had to, if the machine told them. That's a good question. I don't know. I they probably just know from experience that. If you got something that's sticking way out there, it's going to vibrate. So, you know, like usually you want a pretty solid block that you're working right. with and then you're, you're machining down that block into the part. Right. But now you've got the part partially machined out. So now it's, it does kind of sound like a dot matrix printer. Cool. It's not very loud. It's actually surprisingly quiet. Uh, if you don't have much plan on Friday, that might be a good chance to hang out. It's a good day for me. Yeah, that's, Kind of what we're thinking. Oh yeah, there's. So part. this is actually half of the pedal right here. Um, uh, there's not going to be a best way for me to show this. So this part right here is where it pivots in the pedal box, and then the bottom part that they're machining right now has these four dowels right here, and then it's two bolt holes, so it will be nice and strong and sturdy uh, and everything like that. So this is where the pedal box is to actuate the clutch like that. So yeah, it'll be facing this probably, way. Yeah. You, so the pedal will be down here, like here. Yeah. You'll be pushing the clutch pedal down here and it'll be pivoting like this. Oh, <laughs> thanks. So yeah, this one got kind of warm. This is actually Dan's pedal. Like yeah. this, this so piece there. will be in the car. This is the actual piece, so. Okay, V12s, do we think F will produce any reasonably priced non-turbo V12s, or are we stuck with the special production 2 million V12s? Ooh. Man. I wish they would produce some non-turbo, not special V12s that are reasonably yeah. priced. I love the V12s. So, get some government money for building in America? Wish. Yeah, they had to... Uh, split it into two pieces because of the, the angles that it's at and everything. It's really almost impossible to make it in one piece. Also, that makes it so you've got a very large piece that you're working with. Um, it gets tricky. 0.15 millimeters equals 0 0.006 inches. Got a lot of passes to do. Speaking of a lot of passes, hold on. Oh, you're going to take your phone? I'm just, I'm not going to do it live. Okay. Cheryl, Cheryl was asking before the color of that other 599. That's not Rosso Dino, is it? It is. I think it's just dirty Rosso Corsa. <laughs> okay, yeah. I figured it was either Dino or dust. I think it's dust. I think it was just yeah. dusty. It's dust. Oh, here we go. Each time the spindle moves, it's a line of instruction or a pass. This number right here is how many passes it's done. That's a quarter million different. It's probably not focused. Yeah, but it's 250,601 passes when I took that picture. Jesus. And it's still not done. So, yeah, that's insane. <laughs> quarter million lines of instruction. Already. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So easy to make these parts. Yeah. Just, just push a button. Just push a button. Just push a button. So That's easy. all there is to it. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know why everyone doesn't do this. Is that right, Andre? You just push a button? Of course. 
Change it, and then you like. Oh, right. oh, program. Oh, my computers are programmed. I love how nonchalantly they were tossed onto the table. I know, right? <laughs> Dan five nine nine. Dan's five nine nine. Driver side ECU. Nice. Imagine wheeling a pedal out of that wood. Thank God for technology. <laughs> You'd be there for a couple years. If you That'd machine cool. metric, you must scale in metric. Yeah. That makes sense. You would want yeah. everything Forged, to be one and the same. Of course, it's totally different. Machining is it's interesting. Like not we've been a part of this. It's certain things are better machined and certain things are better forged and it's just fascinating to see and the one thing about machining is usually the quality of the materials they can use is higher quality. It's so like this is all, you know, like aircraft grade billet aluminum. It's really high quality materials. And they can machine it super, super precise, which is also really nice. Um, yeah. Why is the U.S. Imperial? Because we're the only country to land on the moon, so we can be. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a giant little finger to everyone else. Yeah. We're so awesome. We're going to make a system of numbers that does not make any sense. Yeah. And we're going to land on the moon with it. And we're going to, yeah, and we're going to make our lives miserable by using it to do really complex things. <laughs> yeah, totally. I hate inferences. Yeah. The funny thing is, though, I can't get my mind around, like, Measurements in other systems because I'm not used to them. Yeah, it's I like, couldn't. You know, simple measurements. I can like millimeters, centimeters. All those make complete sense because it's there. It's all ten, one hundred thousand. No, but the math is easy. If I'm saying like yeah, the actual size, of like it. in my mind, visualizing how big is a meter versus a foot. Well, it's about three feet. Yeah, but I look at the ground. I see my foot, and I go, "Well, that's about a foot." <laughs> you know. Yeah, I guess that doesn't. What gets me is temperature. Because, like, oh, temperature. like, we adjust our thermostats in the house by whole degrees, 67, 68, 69, ladies. In, over in the Europe, if they even have air conditioning, it's like, I want my house at 18.2 degrees Celsius. It's like, really? Come on now. Like, yeah. yeah. And then kilometers, like, I, I've lived in Europe and Asia before, so I do, I get the whole clicks and blah, blah, blah. Just going up. Ascend, ladies. Oh, man. I have uh, turned off the air compressors for... I'm going to give it 10 minutes on my end, and then I'm out of here. Yeah, I have a feeling we're probably going to fall asleep before it's done. I still so got 65 well, strong. I'll, I'll yeah, still tune in. I'll still tune in. Better to do. Huh? I said I'll still tune in. Just I'm gonna go do other things, but I'll, I still want to see this happen. You can join us while you're kart racing or sim racing. <laughs> I could. I, 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 I Even Max be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I should probably respond to that. To yeah. wife? Nah. Tyler, that's probably exactly what I'll do. I'll set up a computer right next to the sim. Yeah. Go to town. Yeah, Hugh, that's true. Brits have a metric system but still go with miles per hour and miles per gallon. Yeah, I don't understand that one. That's even worse. Yeah. They took the best of both worlds. I guess. Miles are really stupid. Yeah. Like, what is a mile? See, that's what I have a problem with, is associating a click to a mile. Yeah. Oh, it's way smaller. Or, yeah. Because, like, a 5K is, like, two and a half miles. Yeah. yeah. Or roundabout. I don't know if uh, it's exactly two and a half. Is it, like... 2.6 or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm yawning and shit. Nice. Y'all are a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> Dude, I... Says the guy who's... <laughs> yeah, you usually yeah, go to bed like... <laughs> I don't know. You're, the one, you're the one to bow out first. That's because sitting there, it, I get tired. But since I'm standing here, walking around and everything else... Stand Dude, my body literally starts shutting down at 10 p.m. Oh, like Meg's here. Night. 10 p.m. Meg's here? No. Yep. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's like, what are you doing? I texted her. I was like, oh, we're still working on the car and still on the live. <laughs> yeah, working. That's what she said. 
Uh, uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I mean, she did. <laughs> not literally. So. Why do you gotta sell me out like that, Hugh? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the shit? It's the second she gets here, that's like that's like the kid who like the parents are away from vacation. They come home, mommy and daddy's home. Hey, Billy fucked up this. <laughs> First thing. <Yep>. Jeez. <laughs> Who's working on the car? Hello, oh, not you guys. True. True story. Someone's got to hold this desk. We have to hold this beer. Yeah, and this beer doesn't drink itself. Yeah. <laughs> and and eat some McDonald's. See? You'd be so proud of me. We, we ate healthy. <laughs> I have to go to your storage stream. I'll be back. Okay. That's how we know we're having a long one. you got to pee in the middle of the, yeah. the live stream. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like, thanks, Hugh. It's not like he gets to make these decisions. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tatler. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. All right. I'm going to remember not to tell you secrets. <laughs> Good Lord. Jeez. Anyway. Uh, hope, so this, we're waiting on the pedal, as Adam said. Hoping the pedal is done soon. Live stream P. Nice. That's kind of gross. Yeah. Yeah. That's a different channel. <laughs> All together, just a different thing. I'm not into that. Yeah. That's cool if you are. I'm not geek shaming. I'm just saying. Yeah. Not me. Italians break balls. Yeah, yo. Cool. Finished off a handle of vodka, started a handle of beam, pushed the pedal. Ooh. Ooh. Man, if you did, you're... Wow, you're going to have a rough tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you don't have to work there. Yeah, hopefully you're not working tomorrow. That's a... Uh, I'd be in... Serious trouble. Maybe back in college I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd probably be okay by like 10 a.m. I mean, but, that's, that's probably one good thing with not doing the castle. Is there won't be like 45 bottles of wine to drink. That's true. The castle was a shit show for drinking. Everyone was pretty much hungover on Friday. Yeah. It was tough. That was uh, pretty fun. Yeah. I'm excited to hear the 509 exhaust again. I believe you did next fight. That's correct. We have we've never even heard it. I have no idea what this car is going to even sound like. Oh shit! That's even more exciting. Say it with me: functional alcoholism. <laughs> mm, it's the best guy. Do you have your other camera to film it when it starts? Well, I got my cell phone. Oh. Wow. We you have your YouTube camera to film. Oh, I mean actual video. I don't know, I figured it, maybe, who knows what's going to happen, right? <laughs> live, live streaming and filming. Uh, I don't have the equipment to like put, I mean, I'm not going to record the first time it's driving, probably, with my cameras and stuff. I'll, I'll do a video on that. Yes. What video, what vehicles are next for NGS to flip? Well, first we got to get rid of the ones we have. We are tapped out. Like, we're done. We got nothing. So buy our cars, then we'll buy more cars. So we've got, oh, what do we have right now? We have 565, 599, 360, 430, 430 Scuderia, 458, California, California. So we have seven Ferraris. You got to get rid of them. <laughs> we've got a problem. We've got an addiction. You need to solve my addiction for me by getting rid of these cars. Now, actually, uh, legitimately, if you or someone you know wants one of these cars, well, if someone you know wants one of these cars and you refer us to that person, we'll give you something. We'll hook you up if they buy the car. Like, a pretty big something. So, you know, we're fine with referrals. We'll, we'll hook you up. Um, second of all, if you want any of the cars, make us an offer. Like, we're actually legitimately trying to offload a couple of cars for that exact reason because we need something else so you know see auction go on the, the kelly hasn't been approved yet okay so we don't know um mitch the black box going up and down is the cnc machine oh yeah that's the cnc oh yeah yeah you can see the the top of the cnc machine that's funny a 50 dollar gift card to go and corral oh Ooh. dude we can do more than that we'll give you like 60 
<laughs> yeah, we've got the whole run of supercars. Everything from 2001 all the way till 2017. Wow. That's fun. You said the 488, right? Oh, and the 488. Oh, my God, we have eight. Yeah. <laughs> I, we have so many cars, I forgot about a car. Shit. That's not good. Okay, well, people. Yeah. Buy one of these cars. This is not good. I can't be forgetting about cars. Yeah. Wait, that would be the 2017, right? Or is there another one that's... 17, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Holy yeah, crap. Please. Yeah, we've got like that's a lot of furs. We've got like one point four million dollars in inventory or something like that. It's kind of crazy. We need to sell some cars. Yeah. So everything must go. Absolutely. Everything must go. Orberg. No. Less fire. <laughs> we've yeah. done enough fire. No fire. <laughs> yeah. No wrecks, no fires. No wrecks. Yeah, oh god, that was not fun. Just getting pulled over for no reason. No room. wrecks. No fires. Jeez. Are you, uh, that is a giant turbo. Holy shit. Uh, it's over a thousand. Board. It's over a thousand horsepower? Jesus. My GMW. Your GMW? Oh, it's an LS? Yeah. I didn't realize there was an LS in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. That's insane. That's a ridiculous car right there. Anyway, yeah. Someone give us a referral. We'll hook you up. We'll give you a decent sized kickback, like probably 500 bucks. Figure that. Um, no, the Cali, we're waiting for uh, bring a trailer. To approve us. Obviously, if someone wants to buy it before then, we'll gladly sell it to you before then and save all the hassle and cheese. Um, so again, just make a, an offer on it. Um, the 48, although I don't want to sell it, I guess I would sell it. Begrudgingly. Maybe. Maybe. Hold your leg. Yeah. Uh, would you rather have a 2005 Mercy or 2015-ish Huracan? Huracan, all day. Mercy. I want to be able to drive the car. Not, that's have true. it always be broken. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, I I want I love the Mercy. Oh, it's, it's a total piece of shit. Yeah, it's, it's a horrible car. It's I want one. It's beautiful to hear. They're so awesome. They're so bad. Like terrible yeah. cars. Once once uh, the one here is driving, I'd love to drive it. Oh, uh, update on that car. Uh, it's uh, we're sending it to Josh Hill. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So we we, we uh, exotic power and performance. Josh Hill. Oh, which car? The Mercy. Oh. So you know we've just been chilling, chilling. Oh yeah, we technically have that in our dealership too. Yeah. But that's mm -hmm. basically not ours. It's basically, basically a friend's car. Um, we kind of talked to Carrie who bought it, and we're like, hey, we're just not in a position to do that right now. And it's probably going to be six months to a year before you can even start. And that's optimistic. So what do you want to do with this thing? And we're like, look, Josh Hill said he'd actually work on it. And so he's going to do it right and whatever. So he's like, all right, let's just do that. So it's soon. Yeah. I love the spec of that 48 as well. That's why I bought it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> God, I love it. It's so good. Yeah. I'll tell you what, everyone. I'm running out of steam. I think I'm going to shut it down. Um, I think the car is going to be running tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be done tonight. That's my prediction. Well, certainly not today because it's 10 o'clock. So it might be done after midnight. But it's not going to be done today. So I think yeah, we'll shut thing's, down. That thing's still cutting. <laughs> yeah. That was my worry when they uh, when I got here and they said they still had to cut the pedal. I was like, ugh. That's a really complicated piece. So, well, I think we can go live tomorrow if we have to. We, well, we can film it. And then you can wait for the video. Well, the hardcore people can see it. Well, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Steamy damn, cold start. I mean, 
I don't want to keep standing here. Like, I want to sit down. I've been standing for hours now. My legs hurt. <laughs> like, I'm like, ready to. I'm ready for a nap. Uh, eight hour nap. Shit. Yeah. Eight oh. hour nap. <laughs> Did it just oh, stop? Man. No, it just changed. Speed. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's slower. Oh, nope. nope. Back to, oh, no, it's high Back to 11. Yeah. Dude, when it's making that speed sound, it's like somewhere between 10 and 15,000 RPMs. It's kind of oh, crazy. crazy. Yeah. After party? Yeah. After party? Yeah. After party's in my bed. Yeah, and that's to... not a euphemism. Yeah. <laughs> no, I still got. We, still, we both still have thirty minute drives from here. You, I don't. You suck, you bastard. CNC is like a lullaby. It's a... <laughs> uh, let's see, right, ladies? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeez, I suppose I could. Maybe fire up the phone one more time before I go. Yeah, do that. Do you want to see the, the CMC machine one more time, and then we'll shut it down? Because yeah. I'm, about to, I'm about to fall asleep. All right, I'll do that. Do it. All right, give, me, it. give me a second. You my phone. My phone just said it's bedtime mode activated. You start that shit early. Damn. Yeah. I don't want people bothering me. I don't get much time to myself. 10 p.m.? Fuck you. Do not text me. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Alright. Well, yeah. Let me get back on this thing. No. Where'd it go? Damn it. I lost my tab. Son of a bitch. Give me a second. Here it is. Nope. No, it's not. Ah. Done yet? Yeah. Take it back apart. Yeah. Really? Close 30 minutes, close. The machine's done when it's done. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Firing up my phone. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. The Big Mac speaking CPS. No, it wasn't four manual 599s, it was like 42. But yeah, it would be expensive. Uh, okay, yeah, it's facing the right way. Yeah, they have to recast it. Okay. All right, you gonna run it? Sure. Okay. Adam, show me I'll go over there. Final countdown. Well, if if art is true and that it's almost done, we might stay on. I don't know. You guys got to talk Dan into it. It's not my decision. Okay. There you go. Almost there. Once, once he's not gonna make me sick, I'll make him scream. Make me bigger. Can you make it bigger? There it is. No, not you. Sorry. There you go. Oh. Oh. Wow. Kind of hypnotizing. Is that just water? Or is there kind of a chemical? That's how you do it. You just leave this for the live stream, for the live stream. We do. There's three on it right now. We have three cameras. Can't really hear what you're saying, dude. Yeah. Okay, for those of you who have been watching this whole time, I gotta show you this. This is how much machining they did today. This is the crap. This, this trash can was empty today. Yeah. It is now full. A whole trash can. All for that. Just to make that. So you were going to put that in your trunk. <laughs> like, here you go, Dan. Here's your pedal. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me show you. This, it all started like this. Hold on. Here we go. 
here is your block of aluminum. So that's what it started as, this big old chunk, see? That big. Take that, saw off a chunk, and they threw it in there. And uh, a day later, he got a pedal. So that's two chunks because we have two parts, so yes. There you go. Pretty cool. Yeah, oh, here we go. Here's some specs on it. Look at it. 14,000. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Is that just water or a chemical in the solution? So cool. That's a good question, Gary. Yeah. Oh. All right. There you go. Thank you. Not one. No. I'm on, I'm on it. I'm on it. You guys keep doing that. <laughs> Dan exited abruptly. I didn't know he was doing that. Yeah, Dan, sorry. Dan, that li the liquid, I don't know. Is that just water or is it some kind of solution? Uh, it's uh, cutting fluid. Cutting fluid? Oh. Cutting fluid, yeah. It's like a coolant and lubricant at the same time. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if it just recycles the water. Yeah, yeah, it just keeps repumping it through. Uh, there's a big holding tank below the machine, and it pumps it back through. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that pulp is worth money. It's all aluminum. They're going to recycle all that, I'm sure. I, I think they have some sort of a thing where they get, like, you know, exchange credit or whatever. I don't know. Probably. Um, and the question is, is it magic lube? It's magic lube. Yes. Special lube. Special lube. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> uh, Fred's missing all the fun. Yes, see is. Where is Fred? Yes. I don't know. Fred's not here. Mousetrap's not here. No one's here, man. Carrie's not here. Jeez. Are they even my friends anymore? God. <laughs> Yeah, so there we go. I'm going to wrap it up because I'm tired and I want to go to bed. So uh, I think this will for sure be running tomorrow. I think that's a pretty safe bet. There you go. Holy shit. We're going to have a 5 It's yep. as close and as you've ever been. That's super close. Super close. I'm going to have a hard time sleeping tonight. Not really because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone said to stay on, so no, no. don't say that shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to shut it down because I'm, I'm going to go to bed and go home. All right. So, we'll see you guys. Next week, we're going to be live from Monterey. Like I said, so we're going to be in Monterey Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you want to meet us, we'll probably try and meet people on Friday. Otherwise, meet us at Meekum or Exotics on Broadway. We'll have that there. And the 48, well, the 48 won't be at Exotics on Broadway because we only got one registration spot. I i trying to figure out if they, we needed one or two, and I only did one. I should have done two. I suppose I should email them and be like, hey. Am I? I don't think they're going to say yes. It's, it's a tight yeah. streak, right? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. So, um, good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Well, yeah, I got to turn on the. Where is it? Outro. Where's my outro? Jeez. Can you find it? There it is. Bye. <laughs>